Okay, taking another look at the Dell laptop, the new Dell laptop. Getting kind of sick of using its small touchpad here. Um, so what I'm going to do is just use this USB mouse. It's a cheap one. Um, just going to plug it in the side here, and it should be good to go. It's telling me it found new hardware, which is totally normal. USB human interface, human interface device, which means mouse and now when I move the mouse it works just fine on the screen there so now that I found it don't need to waste time reading the balloons alright I also might notice that I have a network card pl cord plugged into it um, it's an RJ45 going to my router and we're going to take a look and see how it's connected we'll go to settings network connections and because I have it, the window set to expand, I'm not having to click anything here. It's just opening right up for me. And I'm heading over to the local area connection. It says it's connected. Don't see any problems. It's sending and receiving signals. So I'll just go ahead and close out of there. And since the first browser that comes with the computer is Windows, or is, micro, is, is um, Internet Explorer, I'm going to click on the Internet Explorer icon. Because it's connected to the Internet, it should go out and do its business. Um, I'm guessing because this computer came from Dell, I'm going to see a Dell screen here, and sure enough, I'm seeing a Dell screen. Congratulations on your recent purchase of a Dell computer fit configured with Windows Live. Great. Now I'll click OK to that because I just want it to go away. And the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of some of this real estate up here, get, get back some of this real estate up here. So I'm going to go up to the toolbar, and I'm going to get rid of the links because I don't need that. I'm going to get rid of Windows Live Toolbar because I don't need that. I'm going to go to Customize. I'm going to choose instead of large icons, small icons. And instead of sh show text, I'm going to say don't give me a text label. I don't need to know what the home button is or the back button is. Um, when I see my list of current toolbar things, I'm going to remove Messenger. I'm going to remove Bluetooth. I'm going to remove Blog This. I'm going to remove Edit. I'll leave print. I'm going to get rid of mail. I'm going to get rid of history. I'm going to get rid of favorites. Why am I getting rid of those? Well, because history I can get at any time through my down arrow, and favorites is already in my menu bar, so there's no reason in my mind to see it there twice. Search. I go to Google to search, so I don't need my computer to do, tell me a search button. I've gotten rid of a couple of the separators. Now home, refresh, stop, forward, and back those buttons I do use so I will leave them but you'll notice a big difference once I click close to that they went to the small small uh, icons with no text labels I'm going to unlock the toolbar just long enough to bring my address bar up into the same line and now I'll go back and lock the toolbar and I don't know how smooth how obvious that was on screen but I went from about there to there I'm down to two lines for my Internet Explorer and that's just fine for me and sometimes I'll even unlock the toolbar and drag all this business up to the top line including the address bar and now I'm looking at one line at the top and I'll go ahead and lock that toolbar again now okay I don't have a back and a next visible all the time but if I ever need them there they are print stop next re refresh uh, there's my address bar you know I don't need the go button so I get rid of the go button too so uh, that's actually going to be my preferred style in this machine because I don't have a lot of screen size you know I want to have what I do see I want it to be what I want and not a bunch of toolbars spyware I'll add toolbars there's no reason to get rid of spyware um, for now though, let's, uh, we're happy with this. It should, when I close it, it should open the same way next time. It, it, in other words, those preferences should have saved and you'll see on a, on, as it opens up the frame is much smaller now. It's taken some time to pull up all this garbage from the Dell website. So the next thing I'm going to go is to Tools, Internet Options, and I'm going to take a look at my options for Internet Explorer. I'm going to get rid of this MSN because the last thing I care about is going to MSN every time I turn on the computer. Instead, I'm going to go to my own website. You might put Google in here. You might put our website in here. It's really up to you, and it's your computer, so it's something that I always recommend people make a change. And I am just getting used to this keyboard, so I've taken about an hour longer to type that than I needed to. Okay, so now when I go to home, 
boom, I see my website and not Dell's website. That also means now when I close and open again, Internet Explorer, instead of waiting for the Dell website, I go straight to my website.